days are cooler, nights are warmer, and I put the blame on you. Time moves slow, but my heart beats fast. When these eyes are looking right at you, right at you, you give me something to believe in, just what I need in. Some of your own supporters, including Republicans on Capitol Hill, have labeled Vice President Kamala Harris, who is the first black and Asian American woman to serve as vice president and be on a major party ticket, as a DEI hire. Is that acceptable language to you? And will you tell those Republicans and those supporters to stop it? How do you, how do you define DEI? Go ahead. How do you define Diversity, it? equity, and inclusion. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Is that what your definition? Give that me is, a, that, that give, is literally Give me a definition the words, then. Would you give me a definition DEI. of that? Give me a definition Sir, of I'm that. Sir, I'm asking you a question, no, no, a very you have to direct define question. It. Define, the, define it for me, if you I would. just defined it, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? Well, I can say, no, I think it's maybe a little bit different. So uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much, and she was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a historically black one. college. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't, because she was Indian all the way, and then all of a sudden she made a turn, and she went, she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that she is I think somebody a... should look into that, too, when you ask a continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. It's a direct question, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is a DEI hire, as I, some Republicans I really don't have know. said? I mean, I really don't know. Could be. Could be. There are some, and there are uh, plenty. I know this lady right over there, Harris, is a fantastic person who just interviewed me at length. <laughs> And what? we had a great interview, I think, and I heard you got very good ratings on that Well, interview. you told me it was the longest one oh, of your okay. life, so <laughs> we had a good discussion. Oh, my goodness. So that happened uh, at NABJ, and that is um, evoking a lot of people sharing their story of when they turned black. Roderick Morrow is here, um, the black guy who tips. Was it always the black guy who tips, or at some point, was it just that guy who tips? When did you... Black. I was black coming out the womb, I think. So mm -hmm. I didn't have much choice in the matter. Uh, so it, it was, uh, I think I've been black for quite some time, unfortunately, for uh, those who who say we all have to pick a date. What was your, what was, was did something happen for oh, you? Oh, I think, no, I think my, 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 well, it's on my birth certificate, Negro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so it was right then. Uh, yeah, Negro was right there on my birth certificate. I didn't know we I saw could. It. Now in hindsight. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, yeah, you know we would have made different choices, right? right. I might have spent a few years Maybe. just seeing what it's like, just to see, see? like, I just try it out. You know what I mean? Can we switch? Yes. Back? Can we switch now? Like, Maybe we should be able to. Like, I, I was saying people on the census, I was telling everybody to check black on the census, yeah. but maybe we need to do something different. The, I get pulled the, up the, by the police next time. I'll be like, uh, excuse me, sir. I'm white. Yeah. I'm white. I'm sure, not, not I'm sure this is a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. I know what it says yes. on my driver's license, but I just need to get it renewed. I'm today, we're not doing yeah. that. Yes, I'm um, transracial. <laughs> transracial. I I went and got the operation, and it was successful. Yes. Yes, we are here. We're here, Roderick Morrow. Uh, so it's, it's evoking all these people sharing when they turned, when they you know decided or turned be, became black. Uh, mm -hmm. Panama Jack. Panama Jackson wrote a piece in the Grio. He says, I um he said you know today I share my story, my truth about when I turned black. Mm. I, so boom, I can remember that thing like yesterday. It was a clear black night and there was a clear white moon and the Lakers had just beat the Supersonics. I was <laughs> rolling down the street, smoking Indo, sipping on gin and juice, heading to a house party on the campus of Mission College, or maybe it was Atlanta A&T. Maybe it was Truth University. It escapes me, but I was on my way to get up a get 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 down to get up a get 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 down i pulled into the parking lot and saw that there was and saw what was the, what was there hold on this is bad English. I, maybe this is on purpose i pulled into the parking lot and saw what was what there was to see the scene was so thick low riders oh, right. 77 Seville's, l dogs yes <laughs> nothing but them lax come on 
All the players, players. and all the hustlers were there. For real. I'm talking about a black man heaven, which was <laughs> especially good for me considering what was about to happen to me. And he goes on to talk about he said I suppose it's more it's important to note that I have no recollection of what I was before I turned black like Kamala I'm mixed but as they say <laughs> once you go black come on never you never go back, back. yes <laughs> this call and response is gonna be so much fun she said you know what they say if you can't say it if you can't say it to my what was this what she said don't say, um, it, you say it to my face say it, say it to my face everybody knows hey. my answer, if someone tells shows you who they are Believe like we we are call and response people. That's how you know you're black too. So I'm 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 that fascinated. Should, should we give this energy <laughs> though? Should we? I mean, because it's so ridiculous. Everybody's now that like Trump people. It's as if white people didn't understand that race was a made up construct. That that the the designation of blackness was codified into law. Three fifths compromise. The one drop rule. Why do we have Loving versus Virginia? Because they had on the books it was illegal for black people and white people to marry. Well, they had to have some definition of blackness, right? One thirty second black meant that the Lovings couldn't marry, right, in Virginia. So their their marriage was illegal when they it, moved it really back just, home. It really just depends on what day you walk up on me. Because, like, some days I really am like, man, don't even get us no time. Like, it's ridiculous. They want us to expend a bunch of energy in the news cycle, running around, talking about her race. Because if we're even talking about it, we're not talking about Trump anymore. We're not talking about the racism that he's exhibited. We're now just talking about like, what does it mean to be black? Which is a very in-house discussion in the first damn place. Uh, like, like that white people don't, they truly would never get it anyway. We could, we could hold a whole damn class and they still wouldn't get it. Cause they, they don't know that, Seven seven Seville's L dolls number them lacks. They'll never know that. Um, so we just had some some shit is just black and they can't you can't explain it. But um then other days, you know, I'm like fight them on every fight every battle, you know. So if you if he said that and you want to go out there and explain, because it is important to explain that Kamala is black, has been black. This is not some new stuff. That's a lie he told about her waking up and changing her mind. And we know we've seen, at least I've seen in the last like 10 years on the internet, this kind of weird opposite one drop rule thing happening. So I feel like some people want to fight that battle to be like, hey, we're not kicking people out of being black. If they if they've been black their whole life, we can't just decide today like well, I heard your only your grandmama black. Well, we they been black. I don't know what to tell you. Reagan Gomez is black. You can't just be today. You don't feel like she black no more. She been with us. I understand the people that don't kick it with us and try to roll over here. We looking at them different, but it's a lot of people that's been with us the whole time. We we don't need to do that. So yeah, I, like I said, I'm of two minds. Uh yeah, I'm I'm not. I I I think um this is silly, but it also speaks to how ignorant i started watching this show uh with Patton Patton oswald he hosts a, a game show and it, it basically is like it's the one percent of people know stuff right so it's like they'll give questions and at each round it's like okay 90 percent of people got this right 80 percent of people got this right and then it gets down to one percent of the people got this right and you realize with the first question this is a dumb country <laughs> it's like the first yeah. question is like a b c what's the letter that comes next and like two people get that wrong and you're like yeah how wait what what's happening oh i hit the wrong button no you just didn't take your time and look and then listen and process it's it's a lot to wade through i'm not here for it and i'm not your teacher uh not on these airwaves so I feel you. Uh, like i said i like i it's that thing i don't know if you do this too but i see other people taking up the mantle to be like i'm gonna educate these folks and i'll be like i'm glad it's you Cause it's not gonna be me, like, like you know, like I, I'm sure someone need to do the job. I don't want to like denigrate, cause I know it's coming from a good place. I don't want to like, I don't want to like start telling them, just talking to them people. F them. I don't want to do that. I feel it inside. Though. I feel it in my spirit to, mm -hmm. to be like, nah, f them. Don't tell them nothing. But like I said, I, I, I just glad I'm not doing it. I like making jokes about race and stuff, but I don't want to actually spend any time educating white people on what it is to be black in America. Who gives a fuck? Yes. They never get it. Right. And they don't want to. They and don't they want to. They care so much. And there's so many. Go get get you a book. But I will, like yesterday was so encouraging, Roderick. We had a call to call up 
and he said I changed his mind. I, I hope I hope it sticks because, you know, there's a bi Bible scripture. This is like the man that looks at himself in the mirror and walks away and forgets what he looks like. Yes, it could be that. But for a moment, I was like, oh, this might actually. What'd you change that mind on? On Kabbalah. Kabbalah oh, Harris. He was, okay. he was like, he was, I'm going to vote for Trump because his, his values align with mine. And by the time we finished, he was like, oh, I might be wrong about this. Yeah. Maybe he just said okay. that. That's nice. Yeah. We'll see, what we'll values? What you know, I, I'm, oh, what? oh, the, the like we. I want to get back to when men were men and women were women, and I was like, yeah, yeah. He wanted All to right. say retarded. He he's like, why why can't we say that? <laughs> I was like, really? That's, that's your the value? hell you want to die on? My days are cooler, nights are warmer, and I put the blame on you. Time moves slow. Just what?